the lesson three and uh, this is about uh, what we call a farm layout how the farm appears uh, according to the plan of the farmer so uh, previously we had talked about uh, 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 various methods used in soil conservation which we I believe we exhausted them very well so we will not be going back today but I want us to talk about uh, our farm layout now now if you see look at your screen uh, there is a model of a farm layout and if you look at the picture you can see how uh, a farm arranges different uh, enterprises or components uh, which has uh, some reasons why uh, it's done that way so uh, looking at the screen you can find here uh, I think I believe these are trees trees with fruits uh, I believe these are crops uh, vegetables uh, you can see we have some uh, animals here I think the sheep then we this uh, goat uh, is sorry I mean uh, uh, cattle uh, I believe this dairy farming then we have trees here probably for provision of wood uh, then we have some other uh, enterprises so all those things I've just mentioned are, are enterprises so a farm layout is just the arrangement of those enterprises uh, uh, how they are set in in the farm so that's the simple definition of farm layout and it is drawn uh, to show various enterprises and where they are placed in the in the farm so the position of those enterprises so somebody may ask you uh, state uh, uh, different enterprises one can can have on the farm so what are some of the enterprises a farmer can can have on the farm we can have things like dairy farming that's an enterprise you have some things like ranching that's keeping animals eh, for for beef production we can have things like crop production or crop farming uh, if, uh, vegetables those are enterprises uh, fruits those are enterprises chicken or poultry that is an enterprise uh, dairy uh, I've, I've mentioned that you can have something like um, pig production eh? sheep those are enterprises so from our screen let us now go to uh, what the notes are saying a farm layout is a drawn plan that shows various farm enterprises and where they are placed in the farm that's what i've just talked about so the definition the real definition of a farm layout comes here uh, a farm layout is a plan is a plan of how various end up enterprises are arranged and set on the farm so this is the clear definition of a farm layout farm layout a plan of how enterprises are, are arranged and set on the farm so um, we are also told here that a farm model now when you have drawn it on paper it becomes a, a farm layout model it guides the farmer on how to locate various activities and structures uh, for convenience so that it becomes easy for you to operate it becomes easy for you to operate now when we are making a, a layout of a farm model a layout remember we now have we can combine materials and come up with something that looks like a farm exactly and also it has the enterprises so when we are making a model which material do we use uh, locally available materials we use can be things like uh, <coughs> carton carton boxes uh, cardboards those can help us to make a, a very good farm layout uh, things like uh, so <coughs> soil soil remember uh, let me get you back to this one you can see in this area you can see some crops and some brownish patch which implies it is a farmed or a cultivated area so that's the function of the soil it will indicate that uh, right away then um also need things like paper mash uh, paper mash is uh, uh, you take newspapers and uh, 
divide them into small pieces or papers newspapers are the best divide them into small pieces mix them with the uh, what you call a uh, glue and stir them so that they form a a, a heavy liquid uh, substance which can be modified in shapes so that's what you call a uh, paper mash so uh then right away on your screen uh, you can see above uh, here here uh, you can see um what you call important of farm life now, what is the importance of uh, planning having a plan which shows how you have arranged and set your enterprises one important is that it helps the farmer to maximize the use of soil you are able to use the soil very well because when you have a farm layout you will always um, plan and not to leave any space uh, unused so every space is used well and it got it's it it has an enterprise that is situated there which can help a farmer to benefit from uh the the products or anything it it produces so a uh, farm layout helps the farmer to maximally use the soil or utilize the soil then it helps the farmer to have enterprises that are well arranged so uh, farm enterprises are uh, are orderly uh, arranged the enterprise we have just mentioned from our layout here you can see how these things are beautiful looking beautiful it will help the farmer to uh, orderly arrange your enterprises for convenience as we had talked about uh, earlier as we had talked about earlier